Hello, welcome to Jibrin Angu on Oweleke TV. Once again, we have our special and regular guest, um, Apostle Indifreke Imo. My name is Jibrin, the ex exclusive anchor, for now at least, of this wonderful, gracious show called Jibrin Angu. Uh, we shall be discussing with our um, esteemed guest, Apostle Indifreke Imo, uh, who is um, a very, very um, focused man of God, whom God has been using in the kingdom of, uh, of our Lord Jesus Christ very, very mightily. He's, um, he travels uh, from one point to the other. I think um, he's, he's really into an apostolic ministry. When you talk of what you call, I see, I hear so many people um, bear that name, apostle, apostle, apostle. And um, so many times you see them actually, um, they are most times in one location, probably preaching. All the time you see them in one either in their church, in their churches or whatever, they they really go outside, maybe travel outside their domain to preach or whatever. So um I think apostolic ministry is just like um I think it works in line with evangelistic um evangelistic ministry as well. So you should be all over the places, um, just like Apostle Paul did. Um, so, and uh, you are uh, your this ministry is you are really acting out the apostolic calling because um, viewers, apostle the break is, uh, he's, he he preaches everywhere. He just travels around. Sometimes uh, I pity for his uh, his half uh, his uh, other half because um, it's uh, actually she understands I understand that she understands the ministry that uh, she is part of the ministry as well so she she's uh, she's uh, I think uh, she's in line with you but sometimes I actually pity her because um we are all humans she definitely will be missing missing miss, missing you a lot because of your um rampant going around preaching the gospel of of uh, of our Lord Jesus Christ. So sorry for deviating, um, uh, viewers. You all know I do things. I, I'm an unscripted person. I don't read scripts. I don't. I don't go through teleprompters. I just. I'm a spontaneous person. I just start my show, and whichever way God leads me um, to go with it, I just flow with the show. So I, I didn't intend it to go this way. Um, Man of God, thank you so much for joining us once again uh, out of your busy schedule. It's a pleasure. Yes, uh, viewers, we shall be talking about Thanksgiving. That's the topic for today, Thanksgiving. Um, does God expect appreciation or Thanksgiving from us? When God does something, does he expect us to come back and say, thank you, Father? Um, should we as human beings, if God expects, or either way, whatever the, the man of God will be answering this question, giving answers to these questions, does God uh, expect us to um, express gratitude to him? Um, and if yes or no, should we as human beings expect gratitude from each other? And um, should the third one is uh, related, but not the same thing. It's a different topic entirely outside Thanksgiving. We shall be talking about pastors who um, are where or are invited for one ministration or the other. Guest pastors, guest ministers, uh, uh, music, uh, music ministers. Um, if we are, uh, the question here, should such guests either a pastor or music minister expect to be paid um, either after or before ministry or responding uh, for, for responding to the call of um, guests food. Um, so man of God, uh, let's start from the first one. Does God expect appreciation from us, God does. God. 
yeah, hey, hallelujah. Sorry to cut you short. Before we go, we definitely will start with prayer. Um, yeah. yeah um, but first, God, virtually everything about us, about creation, is God giving. Um, everything. God gives everything. It is it, just when you talk of giving, God is the epitome of giving. He is the beginning and the ending of giving. Yeah. Um, every second of the day, he gives, he gives, he gives, he gives. Yeah. From creation up to, to up to yeah. eternity, he is keep he keeps giving and he will keep he will keep giving. So the question um will, uh, you, will, you will lead us into the answers to, to the answers to all these questions after yeah. after you open the show with a, a word of prayer, man of yeah. God. Yeah, praise God. Hallelujah. Um, uh, we thank God for another wonderful time Thank in you. God's presence on the um, Jibre angle of the Oweleke TV. And uh, viewers all over, we thank you for, thank you. you know, being with us and uh, following us up. And uh, today I want to believe that the Holy Spirit will speak through us and um, uh, such that we are bringing before, you know, the public. He will give us answers and direction. And so I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. thanking Thank you, Jesus. O God, yes, for seeing us through the month of January. And this is February. Many have fallen by the wayside. Many are gone. And we are here, not by power, not by might, not a function of our holiness, not a function of our righteousness, but your mercy has we pro have we profited from, have we benefited from. We give you praise and glory in the yes, name Lord. of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Today, today, oh God, we are looking into, a, a, you know, this subject. We ask that the Holy Spirit that giveth understanding, the Holy Spirit that giveth wisdom, the Holy Spirit that giveth utterance, the Holy Spirit that giveth unction, will come and do the same with us today in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. May we not deviate from what the Bible says. Yes, May Lord. we speak in line with the word of God Amen. and so that somebody out there that might be having issues concerning this, this subject of this course will get clarity, yes, will Lord. have understanding, yes, and then will become a better believer, a yes, better Lord. Christian yes, in Lord. the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. We take authority over every foul spirit mm -hmm. that will distort this program, mm -hmm. that will come the springs of the air that will come to distort the airwaves. That's we right. bind such spirit Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. We decree that network will be in order and Amen. everything will flow normally. Amen. Father, thank you. Uh -huh. Thank Jesus you, Jesus. In mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. Thank you so much, man of God. So um, let's delve into the um, nitty gritty of what we have for today. Um, yes. Does God expect appreciation or thanksgiving from us? Yes. My answer to that question is yes. And um, by saying yes, I want to bring some scriptural back into that. Yeah, very important. Whatsoever we do, we must have a scriptural backing. Yes, you yes, understand? Sir. Because this is the, the gospel aspect yes, of, um, uh, you know, Jibril Angle. Yeah. Jibril Angle. Yes, That's sir. right. You see, um, uh, Thanksgiving, like somebody once says, that Thanksgiving is an application for more. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, the moment you thank God, you are applying for more of God's blessing. One man of God has said something that if you thank God for his finger, he say you will see his hand. Mm. If you thank God for his hand, you will see his embrace. embrace. Amen. So thanksgiving is an application for more. When Jesus Christ lifted up the few things that was in his hand, the five loaves of bread and the two fishes, Mm, yeah. The Bible says he lifted it up and he thanked thank God, God and it was multiplied. Mm, amen. And so by that, I wrote something here. I said, God should not be expecting us to thank him, but it is a protocol. Mm. 
Mm. It's a protocol. It's a spiritual protocol that is ordained for us to assess God's presence. How do I know this? Psalm 100 and verse 4. The Bible says, enter into his gates with what? With thanksgiving. thanksgiving. And into his court with praise. praise. And the Father says, be thankful unto him and bless his name. Mm. So I said here that we praise God for who, uh, for, um, uh, we praise God for who God is. And we thank God for what God has done. No. Mm. Praise God for what he is and thank for, God for, for, what, for what he has, he has done. done. Amen. Amen. Yes. So please, I will I will want us to read a scripture, you Let's know, see. because um, uh, we have to substantiate things with scriptures. Yeah, of course. Um, uh, what um, um, I have Luke chapter 17. Luke Let us look at Luke chapter Luke 17. Chapter 17, right. 17, yes. Luke chapter 17, I'll read from verse um, from verse 11 to 17, you know? Luke 17, 11. 11 to yes. 17. Yes. Okay. You know, the question is, does God expect us to give thanks? Thanks. Let me read this very story. I said, yes, God expects us to give thanks. Let me read this story. Verse 11, and it came to pass as he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, verse 14, he said unto them, Go show yourself unto the priest, and it shall come to pass that as you went, they were as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. Verse 16, and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. Verse 17, and Jesus answering said, were there not ten cleansed? <laughs> but where are the nine? Mm. There are Jesus, um, verse 18, he said, There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way. Thy faith, thy faith has, has made thee whole. And so the man gave thanks to God. And by virtue of that, his miracle was made whole. Amen. Did you see that? Yes, sir. So the ten of them, they got their miracle. Anything can happen to them. So God expects us that whenever he reaches out to you, you should thank him. And the scripture says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 18, he says in everything we should do what? We give should thanks. give thanks. Yes, sir. It is very, it's a virtue. It is not just a virtue that should be captured in a Christian. It's a virtue that should be captured in a man that is civil. It's a virtue that should be captured in a man that is sensible, in a man that knows what he is doing. Yes, sir. It's only in grace that don't give thanks. Mm. It's only in grace that don't give thanks. It's only in grace that they don't give thanks. It should be built into our spiritual, you know, system of life. And so I wouldn't want to, you know, talk so much about that, you know, that alone. You know, Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6, he said, be careful for nothing in everything Give through thanks. prayer and prayer supplication, and supplication. with thanks. thanksgiving. thanksgiving. Thank yes, add it to make your request, you know, to be known before God. And so God expects us to give him thanks. You Amen. know, when Amen. you look at the book of Psalms, everywhere written, oh, give thanks to the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. It's all scattered all over the ego. I think that was the secret. You know, the place of worship and the place of thanksgiving was the secret where David, you know, used to assess God in a dimension that God now said that this man 
is a man after my heart. My heart. Amen. He's a man after my heart. In that, so I, I, in, yeah. in that case, man of God, can, can yes. I be right? Can someone be right to say that um, it's a two-way to, to get something from God, to be, have some great benefits from God? You have yes. to establish, you have to establish a two-way traffic. Okay. Is that can, yeah. can I can one say so? You can is that right? Yeah, if, in, if I say in so? one in, in what dimension and two-way traffic in one two-way traffic. Right? That means um God does for you. Um God is the initiator. He's like I said earlier, he is the epitome mm -hmm. of giving, he is the foundation That's right. and the building That's right. of giving. That's right. Um That's everything right. from the foundation of this earth uh, up to now, up to eternity. God is yeah, we, we will keep yeah. giving. Now That's right. you made a, you made reference to a man of God who said, um, "If you if you thank God for His finger, That's right. uh, He will He will show you His he will show his, his, hand. His, his hand to you." That's um, right. That means um, is it safe to say that um, our relationship with God should be a two way traffic? We should make it a two way traffic. That means sure. that means that it will have it has to be a reciprocal traffic. That is what sure, it means. Sure. Okay. Sure. There are responsibilities that God expects us to assume. You see, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ would have overlooked it, but he brought a critical message there. He says that you mean it, that means amongst the ten, there were Jews. So, but somebody that is outside, you know, the covenant nation of a Jew came back. He said, You mean this very stranger is the one that came back to say, Thank you. He said, go, for your miracle is made whole. God expects it. And so when he do for you, you understand, God expects us to come to him. in a What can you do for God? Nothing. What can you give to God? Nothing. nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yes, sir. The thousand, the, the, the thousand cattle in the hill, they belong to him. Mm -hmm. They belong to him. Heaven and earth belongs to him. Wealth and riches belongs to him. So, on your own part, wisdom should teach you that you should show appreciation. You should show deep gratitude. You understand? Yes, sir. My friend in Abuja, my host in Abuja said something that I will never forget. He's a top journalist. He used to, he was, he is in the board of the editorial, you know, editorial board of this day newspaper. He okay. was, while he was in active service, he was the editorial, um, uh, you know, editor of this day newspaper. He said one day his boss, you know, was, um, um, uh, they went out with his boss and they, they went to a place and the gate man opened the gate for him long time ago. And then he, as they were going, he now removed 2,000 naira. He said 2,000 naira was big, big money, money there, of course. that time and gave to that very gate man. He was wondering, he said, ah, can he give him 2,000 naira? So as they were going, he said, ah, ah now wow, that kind of money where you can't give that man. He surprised me. He said, the man said something that he will never forget in his life. He said, may that God has given all these things. What did I do to deserve it? Mm. Wow. He said, yeah, what man. did I do to deserve it? You understand? He said, God gave me this thing. And I am in a position to be a blessing to somebody. Such also is a way of saying, Lord, I thank you that I could be in a position to do what? To give to somebody. It's, it's an appreciation to God. Yes, sir. I remember I was with a man of God. We're driving in the traffic during this COVID thing. We're in an Uber and we're just going. And then the one guy was pushing us to sell the complete bunch of, um, what do you call it? Uh, the nose mask. And me, I was here. In my limited mind, I was, he said it's 500. I was saying, no, they said I bought it two, two, three hundred last week. This is, and my guy just removed 500 and gave to the guy. <laughs> and as we're just going, and I now say, ah, man of God, this thing is 300. Why did you give him? He said, man of God, don't you pity this young man that is running for showing us? Eh? He said, I don't price things like that. It was a major lesson I went home with. I was humble and I was broken. So even when we reach out to people, it is 
Uh, and uh, as we are reaching out to people, yes, we are giving, but we are equally telling God, thank you that you have placed me in a position that I should be able to give to somebody. Hmm. Yeah, that brings me uh that brings me to a point where to the point where um I've always seen myself anytime I do something yeah. for someone, I've always mm. seen it as a privilege and a honor. That's right. And a honor That's right. to be used That's as a right. vessel. And I always That's go right. to give God time and say, Father, I thank you that uh, that you have honored me and given me this privilege to be the vessel to use to bless this man or this woman or whatever. That's so right. um, that's, right. that's, and that I wish that I hope and I wish that is how every Christian, every human being should actually say, because um, as the Bible says, he is a giver of wealth. Uh, God is mm. a giver of wealth and even power. So Mm -hmm. um, we should always see it. it is not just like the book of Ecclesiastes says. It is not uh, need uh, the the, um, um, the strong. Uh, the, um, yes, yes. Um, uh, oh Ecclesiastes my God. nine eleven. Uh, nine eleven, correct. Mm -hmm. That says that uh, the race is not for the sweet. Yeah, the battle for the sweet. Right. So it is That's not right. because you are smart. Somebody like Angote mm -hmm. or whatever mm -hmm. or Elon Musk. It is not because they are smarter than anyone. Or they are stronger than no. It is just um, it just that it's just being God that gives the giver of wealth. Um, mm. So and that is just it. Now that brings uh, takes us to the second point. Now, mm. <clears throat> since God God expects God expects thanksgiving for anything and everything He does for us. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless. Should we? Thank you, sir. To, should we human beings? Expect same from our fellow humans when God uses us as vessels to help someone or to impact someone positively. Okay. Either it could be okay. it could be monetary, it could be message, it could be anything. Mm -hmm. As long as the person mm -hmm. is giving out mm -hmm. something, um, mm -hmm. something that is beneficial to the other person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So should we expect Thanksgiving? Um, uh, not thanksgiving, you know, the way you put it in that dimension. But you see, we are humans. If God has ordained it, that he expects that we should come to appreciation and thank him for what he has done, it is very natural that if I reach out to you, you understand? Yes. I, I, I'm not playing the place of God. It's not playing the place of God, but to every sensible person should be able to, like you said something now, very critical. You know, when we are talking about expecting Thanksgiving, people will just zero it down to doing somebody a favor. But you said something here. You said a message. Yes. A message. I have had men of God that will call me and tell X, Y, Z, this is what God is showing them concerning me. I used to, I thank them for, you know, for being a vessel that God should would pass through to be a blessing to my life, to sure. give me a message. Yeah, because sometimes I could be very busy. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you understand, I could be very yeah. busy and I don't, yes. I don't know what is, well, I could be so focused on X, Y, Z. At this very season, I am very, very busy. Very, very busy. No time at all. Everybody looking for me, calling me here and there. Like you said, the apostolic. Yeah, yes, that sir. is the apostolic. Come over to Macedonia and help us. Mm. When you force yourself, it is not apostolic. An apostolic is one that is sent to go and uh, correct and go and inspire. You know, go and, you know, um, yeah. um, uh, you know, uh, do something. Yes, you know, so something that you position yourself and God could say, please tell my servant to slow down and look at this X, Y, Z area. You mm. understand? Let him yes, not sir. just continue like that. Mm. I don't joke with such things. Yes, sir. I don't joke with such things. You know, when, 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 when Paul in Philippians chapter, chapter 4, when you read verse 10 to 23, we're still going to read that. It's a long reading. But when you look at verse 16, verse 17, Paul was thanking the Philippian church. 
was appreciating the Philippian church for meeting his needs in their scarcity. Hmm. In their, the, the man that is reaching out to you, you don't even know what he has or what he's going through. Yes, sir. He could do it out of his limited resources, but because he, he has this compelling, you know, pressure on him, oh, meet this very need. Like I used to say that um, uh, giving is not out of abundance. Yes. Uh, giving is not out of abundance. That somebody reach out to you, you just think that the person have heaven and earth. Mm -hmm. A poor, a, a giver will have 1,000 and will have will give a reason why you should give out that 1,000 to somebody that needs it. Mm -hmm. A billionaire will have all his billions and will find a reason why he cannot give. Give, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, so, uh, because he's not a giver. You understand? Mm -hmm. He's not a giver. And uh, so, even God that gave us Jesus, God Wants us to reciprocate yeah. this very giving by doing what accepting, accepting Jesus. Jesus Christ, yes, sir. <laughs> exactly. You know, so God expects us if God expects us to give Him thanks equally, it is very key and important, yes, sir. I don't All right, joke with favors. yes, so sir. I, I, don't, I don't joke with favors. It's even when somebody is saying that, oh, please don't talk about it. I say, no, it's my nature. I must appreciate you. I must thank you, no matter how little that thing is. Because there are people you might not mind, but there are people that if you don't do it, you, you have closed the door. <laughs> By thanking you is an encouragement. Yes, there are people that, uh -uh, you mean I did this? Yeah, they closed the door. Man of God. If you are a pastor, sorry, sir. If you are yeah. a pastor and you bless me with cloth, and the day you are inviting me to come to your church, is that cloth I will wear so that you will know that I appreciate, I appreciate it. it? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, is that cloth I will wear to your church? Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, and I will embarrass you. I will talk. I will appreciate you from the pulpit. That is <laughs> I will appreciate you from the pulpit. <laughs> All so right. You see the way I'm looking. I'm looking very fine. Do you know? Who, who beautify me like this is courtesy of your pastor. Please help me appreciate your pastor. Amen. I did it to a redeemed pastor that gave me a suit on my birthday. I wore the suit to his church. Now look at what happened. And I said, do you, do you, do you know this suit? He said, no. I said, this was the suit you gave me on my birthday. Please, church, help me appreciate him. When he climbed the pulpit, did you know what he did? No. He said that your coming birthday, I'm not only going to give you a suit, I will give you a singlet. I will put a boxer. Amen. I will put tie. I will put inner shirt. I will buy socks and I'll give you a shoe. I will clothe you. That just because it. I appreciate that. Day. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I hope I hope people are listening watching this and learning. Because um, honestly, you are just um you are just you're just saying everything. That's why you see me. I'm not even I'm not I'm not backing you up. I'm not saying because you've just you're just saying it even much better than I I I, I can do a uh, sort of so now then that leads us to the next um the next my next yes, point sir. or question. Yes, um, minister. No, no, that, no, that's not we are not done with this Thanksgiving of a thing. It leads okay, us to okay, the okay, next okay. my next question on this, on this Thanksgiving stuff. Okay. So what happens? There are so many what happened, like including you. I I obviously I think I can bet that you two have preached this message by you probably have said use this phrase um look okay. if you are helping someone just help the person don't mind whether he thanks That's you true. or not um just because you are doing it for to you doing it because of god just help him or her don't mind mm. don't be don't talk about him or her thanking you or whatever is that right mm. is that a right message it's not right it's not the right message i've preached it it's not the right message you understand there is a responsibility that somebody must assume into. And you don't take things for granted just because he's a man of God or, or because he gives. You understand? You just collect and you go. You are shutting the door for more blessings. Yes, sir. It's not right. It's not right. Yes, it's sir. not right. Um, I mean, let's leave the gospel humanly speaking. Let's analyze it. Humanly speaking, let's leave the gospel. Humanly speaking. 
It's not right. Somebody should reach out to you. Honestly, man of God, just... yeah, you just you just nailed it. You just you just nailed the whole thing. You see, um, I I didn't I picked this topic. I was having a meeting with someone last week, and okay. this issue okay. came up, and I was trying to tell that person. The person was trying to um defend why this is something they didn't. I said, look, this is so I said, in fact, this is a good topic. I think next, my next on my next angle, I'll be I'll be having this conversation mm -hmm. with uh, my guests so that and that's why I brought it here or whatever. So mm -hmm. now um let me be frank with you. I I've I, I I've always given this this um I've always made this phrase that this phrase I just it's my it's my I call it myself that we cannot be more. I cannot mm. be more perfect than God. Um, That's true. You cannot be. I can. I can. I can. I cannot, you cannot be, be more righteous. Uh, than more, God. more righteous than God. I cannot be perfect Just as God. God. Or more, not. Mm -hmm. I cannot be more perfect than God because if God that is as perfect as He is, expects mm. reciprocity from us in everything we mm. do, He expects reciprocity. Now, His expected reciprocity does not mean that if we don't reciprocate. He will just kill us and command us mm. to die. No, mm. that is where mercy still remains. Mercy still applies. That's that is because because of the existence right. of mercy, with that that gap, mm. that mercy bridges the gap between us and God. Where especially yeah. uh, 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 even when we fail to do anything, either by commission yeah, or right omission, a uh, sort of so that's so that right. is not it. But however, however, however. Um, God expects reciprocity in our relationship with him. Um, very, and if very. God expects reciprocity, who are we mere mortals? We were made in the image of God. If we were made in the image of God, the God that we are patterned in his image expects thanksgiving when he does something. Mm. The mm. How much more we that are mere mortals that we are patterned in the image of God, uh, in God's manner. So why, why, why shouldn't we expect to be appreciated? It, people will say, if, when you expect to be appreciated, it means you are putting yourself in the place of God. I said, no. no. Nobody, nobody can. I, I, right. said, no. I said, no. You made, you made a statement earlier. I said that mm. we, if you don't appreciate someone for doing something for you um mm. you are shutting the door against yourself that is it and as that, simple as that the truth let me be frank with you that is my replica that is who i am um you see that scripture you quoted in the book of matthew chapter 17 mm. um mm. that is a picture that always the moment people even the moment people say um don't expect anyone look, to come look, thank look you 17. Luke 17, sorry, not not you. Yeah. Um, don't expect yeah. anyone to come. Um, that when you are doing something for so just do it because of it. The person doesn't come to say thank you. Don't be offended. Don't judge or whatever. Mm -hmm. Just let it be. You as long as you that do it for God or whatever. I we, the moment anytime I hear a man of God preaching that, I would it makes nonsense of that scripture. You just it, it it rubbishes that it it contradicts conflicts that scripture. That is religion. That is not gospel. It, that it con talk is religion. It conflicts. That's God. the point. Now, you cannot be more God than God himself. God himself, in That's through right. his son, Jesus Christ, even gave this illustration in the book of Luke, chapter 17, for God's sake. It, it was a detailed illustration, mm. for God's sake. It was detailed. He categorically asked the man, where, detailed, so, very I, detailed. 10 of you were healed. Are you not 10? Yes. 10 mm. of you were healed. Where are the other nine? Why is it that it is only you that came back? If it, if it were not important, a stranger, a stranger, can you imagine? Important. If it, correct, if it were not important, Jesus couldn't have, wouldn't have emphasized, emphasized, yes, uh, would have emphasized that. Emphasis. Of course, where is that? You order, where are others? Why is it you only? And he didn't even stop. Even when the guy, the, the guy told him, okay, it's only, it was only the one. He didn't stop at that. He would have, if it were not important, he would have just stopped at that. What did he say? He said, your mm. faith has made the whole. Has made the whole. Do you know what that means, man of God? 
that that healing was established, signed, sealed, and delivered. Bam, Irrevocable. Insurmountable. You know there are sicknesses that, that comes it. back. You know there are sicknesses that comes back. That's right. There are some yeah. things that comes back or whatever. Yeah. If God so did it, there's no. Who knows there is a probability that has, yes. that's right. Of it course, can to them. there is obviously the problem. Still, your faith has made the whole. That is the reciprocation. Mm. If for, God, first of all, initiated it, gave it to him, and he came back mm -hmm. to God, he reciprocated by saying, God, I give all the glory to you. And God gave him, bam, another one again to stamp it. So, and that, that is the point I keep telling people. I say, look, yes, we are human. We are not trying to take glory. That, that is due to God. All the glory, not even one play, should come to the... God. Yeah, or play God, no. But we are, we are just trying to be, we are just trying to live and pattern our lives in the image of God that actually expects us to come back to say, thank you, Father, for this thing you have done. I give all the glory to you. And that is just, it's not about playing God. Now, let me give you, a, something happened recently between someone, and someone just came me, uh, um, I, I was on I was on a call with her. We're having a conversation meeting, and there's this call that kept interrupting, interjecting. Um mm. and I am I, I I'm that kind of person that I always I feel so frustrated. I feel so I, I hate it. Uh, there are things I, I'm an impatient person, I easily get irritated. Easily, easily. So I don't like when I'm having a very important conversation, there's this something is just interrupting, breaking conversation. Or whatever. So this but, call. Sorry, sorry. Before, before, sorry. Before you continue. Yes, sir. It's not just you. You know, you could be having a call. Another call is coming in. You Come decline in. it. Yes. That person. You know, I would. And the person will call again. I will ask my wife. Yes. Person, this person no get sir. <laughs> to know that this person is busy. Oh, let's you that understand? Is yes, that is it. So, so the thing kept. I was so mad. So and. The person, the lady I was on the other call with, uh, on the other call with, because they know mm -hmm. people, anybody that is constantly on call with me always know that this thing pisses me off. So she immediately just tried to let me know why. Because the next thing, I'll vent the frustration on her. Mm -hmm. As if she was. So sometimes I get I get so bad, I get so offended that I begin to feel um which is wrong. I've, I vent the frustration on on the on on the other person. So she was trying to probably avoid. She just told me, hey, uh, sir, "Sorry, that this call, this person has been calling me, or whatever." For so she decided to open up why this call. So out of the, I said, so, I said, okay, I now became interested in the story. What is the problem with the person? So I suspended mm. my conversation because it mm -hmm. it was when I noticed it was a call of desperation. Mm. I mm, suspended what mm. I was discussing with her and I was ready to listen to her. What is the problem? What is the person passing mm, through? Mm. So she now explained that this and this and that and that and that. I don't want to go into details because if yeah, the person may, yeah. may, may watch yeah, this, yeah. this and yeah. that. I realized, okay, the person have a need. I, I said, okay, do this, but I am not the one doing it. It is you. Mm. Put me out of it. You are the one doing it, not me. So mm. whichever way, let the person see you, not me. But eventually, mm. she eventually did that. She went mm. and did it in my name. Oh. Now, she went and did it in my name. And I said, uh, no, but there's something. The person, the thing is, the person thanked her mm -hmm. and asked her to thank me. Why did I bring that? Okay. Obviously, the person acknowledged that although she wasn't the one that actually did this mm -hmm, technically, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but she availed herself as a mm -hmm. vessel, mm -hmm. vessel to mm -hmm. achieving to achieving that purpose. So the person mm -hmm. thanked her mm -hmm. and asked her to please thank me. Even though I told the person, not me, you will take mm -hmm, me out mm -hmm. of it. A sort mm -hmm. of. So, why am I bringing this? I'm bringing this because that is the way it should be. While you, are, 
Why you are thanking the original, the owner of everything, which is God? Mm -hmm. You should also acknowledge that we have, God has given us that liberty, privilege, that honor to have self-will, whether to, to do or not to do. Or not to do, that's right. Choice. Even, if, choice. Even though he is, we are vessels, we can choose to say, uh, God, I don't go obey you and I don't go help this person. And I don't mm. go do this thing. Mm. What would the person do? I may still disobey God and God, God's mercy will be upon me, but you will be losing. You that needs that help mm -hmm. will be mm -hmm. losing. And that is mm -hmm. the essence of it. That is why in every process of achieving something positive, everyone involved in that process, in that protocol, deserves, deserves acknowledgement and appreciation. That's true. From the lowest to the top, most personality involved in that giving, in that positivity, everyone there deserves, is expected to be appreciated. Mm. And that is just it. Um, so Thanksgiving, there's no doubt oh. about that. Look, uh, in my in my in my place, in my language, in Igbo language, they said, "What can neonye ni for me or make what It means that when you thank someone for what he or she did or has done, mm -hmm. he, he or mm -hmm. she will do more for you. More, that is it. That is it. It's an application for more. Thanks yeah, that's an application it. for more. Yeah, mm. that is it. But if you mm -hmm. fail to or whatever, mm -hmm. trust me. In my mm. own case, so mm. I don't know if other people case. So in my own case, honestly, mm. I know they hide my mm. own. If you fail to, <laughs> if you fail to do the needful, you, you, mm. you, I will shut the door at you. Yeah, because I, I, nobody forces you. You, you, you out of your own goodwill. Even me. Somebody... Look, I when I even pay people, people pay me for what I originally this one. Oh, now me do I deserve to be paid? Now my fee. Yeah, now you give and it. take. I, I um, earned it. I will still appreciate the person. Thank you. Sure, sure, sure. I will I was, I was still say the person. I tell the person, thank you. Because they can still do that same thing with another person. Another person. That is the point. That is it. So it is the viewers. I, I hope you have, uh, you are getting the message here. Um, Thanksgiving is divine. Mm. Um, it, is, it, is, it is divinely acknowledged. It is expected mm. of every human being. So mm. can, we should live a life of, you see, I, mean, I, I don't know if I've told you this before. Honestly, my mm. prayer, my prayer session has been more. If you want to segment oh, it into you. 50, honestly, I spend, if, I, if you want to say, if you want to put it, use ratio uh, on percentage or whatever, mm. honestly, mm. by 70, sometimes even 80% of my prayer session. Yeah, you, you, you mentioned it. You yeah, mentioned it sounds given. Honestly. Yeah. I always, just like the, the songwriter will say, Count your blessings one by one. Mm -hmm. You see, I have learned something in prayer. Um, sometimes I get depressed, depressed over mm -hmm. something, over kind of frustration. Um, sometimes I feel heavy to pray. But when I struggle, when I, I compel, I force myself, kick myself up to whisper something to God, mm -hmm. um, the moment I start, I pick up. Energy, God, yeah, God, energy, God gives energy will be supplied. And at mm. that time, the, I always, usually, like I always said, I start with thanksgiving. The moment I start giving thanks, so many things will start coming up to my spirit that, okay, energy, God, God energy. has done this, he has done this, he has done that, he has done this, he has done... So at that time, I will be lifted up off, off that depression. Oh, yeah. I'll begin to see, God will now show me, so I have done all these things for you. Mm. Why are you because of this one chunk, one chickeny thing that I'm mm. yet, not that I have not even done it, I'm not going to do it, but I am yet mm. to do. You are just feeling bad about it. Mm. And the next thing it gives me, it encourages me, and I just pull, I just snap out of. And so that is mm. it. That is the power of thanksgiving. Because just like the sunrise, the songwriter said, count your blessings one by one. Mm. Honestly, when we begin to count it and list it, God, thank you for this. 
God, thank you for mm -hmm. this. You thank him for mm -hmm. one, no? he will bring another mm -hmm. one into your memory. Mm -hmm. You thank you for this mm -hmm. one. Another will come like that. You notice that you mm -hmm. realize that you, you have so much that he has done in comparison mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. that in comparison with what he's yet to do. That is the mm -hmm. power of thanksgiving. It, 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 right. it, 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 it uplifts our spirit. Um, the moment we start to give thanks, we, we see the awesomeness, we feel and see the awesomeness of God. A sort of, and that and that is why thanksgiving is good. It reminds us of what he has done and the even greater mm. things he has done and more. If he has done mm. such, such mm. all this, mm. of course, he can do more. And so mm. that is it, man of God. Thank you so very much. Let's move to the next topic. Next, um, okay. You have um, really enlightened us on this issue of thanksgiving. And um, we bless God for your ministry. Oh, God. Amen. Amen. Um, so the last the last one on this show is should guests should guest pastors now, man of God, there are uh, in fact you are an example. You travel all the time for ministration, left, right, and center all the time. You are always on the road, on the move, uh, fulfilling your apostolic ministry. The real apostle, I always use that why in quote, real apostle, like I said. I have apostle, apostle friends that are apostles, ministers that are apostles that all the time are they, they, they sitting at church. They, they are sitting apostles. The apostles. <laughs> all day the church, all day for church, they preach Sunday to Sunday, maybe and the weekly or whatever. You really see that when they travel, they travel out for one, probably one big stuff, not a regular stuff yeah, uh, or yeah. whatever. Not just, not like you do all the time. You just travel and go from one ministry to the other to minister. The world. So, um, like, like your, 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 why, like, just as you are doing now, um, okay. the minister and apply it with, uh, apply it to music ministers, to all those top musicians yeah, who yeah, are yeah. gospel ministers who yeah. go from one place to the other to minister in songs yeah. and what in songs of praise and worship. Um, yeah. should they be expect, should they expect to be paid? Now, we, now let me let me let me let me distinguish these two. Um, appreciating ministers of God, both in song, in music, and in messages, is perfect. In fact, um, Apostle Paul uh, uh, admonishes us to do that, encourages us to do that, because anybody that sows spiritual spiritual uh, uh, gifts to you, spiritual blessings to you, expects material blessings in return. A sort of there is nothing appreciating men of God, appreciating ministers of God. It is absolutely, absolutely spiritual principle. It is good. It is perfect. Now that is not the area I'm talking about. It's not about appreciation. It's not about gratitude. It's about expectation, expectant. Um, um, it's about um, earn the feeling, having the feeling of I earn this. Um, having this uh, to, feeling to of be to be paid, yeah, uh, the, to be paid, having the spirit, uh, the the feeling of um, um, entitlement, entitlement. I think that's the right word. I was looking for that, searching for that word. The, that having that feeling of entitlement, I'm entitled to this. Is that mm -hmm. is that uh, should we have that in the ministry? Thank you very much. And um, um, I thank God that um, uh, this question, you know, um, uh, coming to me, that is full time into an apostolic ministry. And so somebody like me that does not have a church platform where I get tithes and offering, you know, every Sunday and every other um, uh, what well, do you call it? Weekly Every other service, yes. uh, hair, you know, we depend on God. So people like us should be looking at, you know, we 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 go out, we expect to be paid. That is absolutely an error. It's wrong. Hmm. Absolutely an error. It is wrong. The one who sent you, you know, I've been saying this thing. Yes, sir. He will pay you. Mm. If your mind is on this money, 
you are on your own, you are not in the ministry. So, now, let us look at the scripture. We're going to read Philippians chapter 10, where you were talking about. We'll read Philippians chapter 10, um, uh, chapter 4 from verse 10 to 23. And then you were quoting 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 11. Yes, you understand? Sir. Yes, Therefore, sir. say, if we have sown unto you spiritual things, yeah. is it? Is it is it a great thing if we should reap canal thing? Canal thing, yes, yes sir. Man. Because money is canal. Yes, money sir. Is a canal. Uh -huh. You understand? But now look at Matthew chapter ten and verse eight. The Bible says, "Freely you receive, mm. and freely you give. You should give." Now look at another very strong thing. It is wrong to monetize the gospel. Mm. Amen. It is wrong to monetize the gospel. The gospel is not for sale. Hmm. All this one that, you know, some people have given reason why they do those things. Those reasons before God is still a wrong reason. That we have gone to somewhere and then we minister, we did everything, and then we were not appreciated. And that is why we have to let them know that this is how much I'm going to collect. This is the hotel I will stay. This is, <laughs> this is the kind of car that will come and pick me, including gospel ministers. This is the kind of car that will come and pick me from the hotel. I say, this one, you are not in business. You are, in, you are not in ministry. You are in, you are in um, uh, industry. You are, you, you, it's a business. Yes, sir. When in Acts chapter 8 and verse 20, they were talking about money. He said, Paul, oh, Peter, is it Peter or Paul? He said, your money perish with you mm. if you think you can buy the gift of God with money. Amen. Your money perish with you. Amen. Now, you remember while I was in Abuja, I went to Ikorekmene okay. for a program. Yes. My pastor friend, every November is his, is his um, uh, anniversary. Okay. Every November. Now, he was in Ikorekmene. He's a Yoruba guy. He served in Nicaragua, and then he decided to, you know, start up something here. And, and that was how we got connected, one of my visits to the village. We got connected, and he just fell in love with me. I handed over my, my microphone to me, and that was how from there our relationship. And he said he watched and saw my kind of person. And he said, oh, I'm very comfortable with this man. And so as a result of that, we've been relating. Oh, man of God, remember November. So when he called me and told me that, eventually he left the correct one. He relocated. Mm -hmm. So the ministry he handed it over to his, um, uh, you know, to his um, uh, young men. Now here is sir. Yes, By sir. the time he called me and said, man of God, I hope you are ready for November. I said, oh, very much. Now look at what happened. A week after he just called me, he said, ah, man of God. While I was still in Abuja, he said, man of God, I don't think <laughs> this thing will hold though, you know. He said, I said, why? He said, ah, my people, you know, we bought a land. I said, yes, I remember we bought a land. He said, my people, you know, my people are saying that because they want to do groundbreaking, they want to start work on that land. Because the previous November, we went and prayed over the land. They want okay. to do groundbreaking, they want to start work. But they don't really have money for my ticket and everything. That was what he said to me. And I now say to him, I say, man of God, me and you, our relationship has gone beyond that. Don't worry, I am coming. Mm, he said, ah, man, mm, I, I said, don't worry, I am coming. Mm. It was, it, that, that thing melts him. And lo and behold, on that very day, he saw me, I showed up. Mm, man. He was shocked. He was shocked. I sponsored myself to that meeting. You understand? Mm. And I still raise money and when I was raising money, I was the first partaker. I told them that this is, let us put our first seed in that very ground. I am giving this. Whatsoever you can give is a free will offering. We want to build for God. Exodus chapter 25 says that, tell the people to bring a field wall offering. You understand? For the building of the temple. You understand? And um, people really responded because they, they saw my sacrifice and saw my commitment. Now, man of God, hear this. You know, second day while myself and him were in the lodge, where we are lodged, mm. he was doing an online prayer. Me, I put earpiece in my ear. Around 2 a.m., I was listening to a message. And all of a sudden, a son in Canada just sent me a message. 
I said, Daddy, please, can you send me your account number? I sent it to him. And the next thing I saw was half a million naira. Wow. I just said, uh, God pays. Yes, he does. He does. Amen. God pays. Amen. Amen. Another one again in Sweden. Just say, ah, Daddy, um, please, so let me just give you a land that you are in the village. Just to add to your transport. They sent me 20. The husband sent me 20. You know, I said, God pays. Yes. I made that sacrifice. I made that sacrifice. And I went to that very place. And I came back. I've been to a place. I went to Oweri. Nothing. The man, no, no hotel. I said, we sure you have roof where you are sleeping. Mm -hmm. He said, yes. I said, that place is good for me too. Now, if you can put your head there, it's good for me too. Amen. You understand? That is what Paul was saying, that we know how to abound and we know how to abase. When the comfort is there, yes, we, enjoy sir. It. When yes, the sir. Comfort, we go through it. And so all this one, I don't beat past this. I don't beat past this. Oh, that is not the gospel. Mm -hmm. That is not the gospel. So please, can we read Philippians chapter 4? Yes, Let sir. Me read. I want to read that scripture. Of course. Philippians chapter 4. I read from verse 10. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> go ahead. They said, but I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now at the least your care of me has flourished again. That is the that is, Paul is appreciating them. Yes, sir. Paul did not put any monetary value to come to them. But on their own, because of what Paul has done, they cared for him. They reached out to him. Yes, they appreciated him. Wherein you were also careful, but ye lacked opportunity. Verse 11. Not that I speak in respect of want. You know, all those ones that you go to a church. And then you are talking, you are talking, and stylishly you are you are begging. Mm. Paul said, I did not talk to you in the area of want. Oh, yes, you understand? Sir. And some people can just be there, they are preaching. Meanwhile, they are they are they are they are already telling the people that they have needs, they have this, they have this. That is not what God sent you for. Mm -hmm. I went to I, I went to mm -hmm. a man of God today. I I you know I ministered somewhere in Maryland today. You understand? The man just told me that, oh. Um, um, uh, I will get across to you. My God, I can't even be thinking about such things. And because of the impact of the ministration, he said, man of God, please, whatsoever you are doing over the weekend, on Saturday, please, we have breakfast with Jesus prayer program. You are the one that will anchor it. You mm, have to amen. be there. He has not given me anything. I can't even think about it. There was a son that was paid, you know, all this thing, was giving me every first day of the month, he was send the seed to me. If for two years, he did that thing. And after last year, he stopped. He did January, he was in England throughout November, December. And then when he came in January, he didn't do anything. February, he did. And then after then, he stopped. And one day I just said, let me not be quiet. Let me ask him a question. Not because of that very money, but because of something could be happening to the source of that man. Some people will be wondering, why is he not giving me this? this and they take offense. And, and I call him and say, please, you know, I'm asking this question because if somebody is a tight, a regular tighter, a regular giver, and all of a sudden the person is not doing it again, you should be concerned what has happened to the source of income. Yes, if sir. there is any challenge, I join you and we pray together. Not because I, not because of the money that was not coming, but let us tackle the problem. Mm -hmm. And he was very grateful. He said, thank you for that very talk. He said, sir, business is not going the way it used to be. Even mm -hmm. my mother, her allowance that I used to give to her, you understand? You know, I am not able to reach out to my mother the way I used to. I said, okay, so we have to take it up in prayers. But you know, when I went to God to ask God questions, Concerning that. Do you know what God told me? No, sir. God told me that the assignments, the assignments that I sent him into your life, he has finished the assignments. Mm. God told me that. He said he has finished the assignment. So God sent him to come and I've had such people. God will just send them to be paying me salary for one year. I've had those kind of blessings from Amen. God. Amen. You know? Uh -huh. 
So he said that, so not for what I have, I have learned in whatsoever state I am, therewith to be content. I know both how to ask base and I know both how to abound. Everywhere and in all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer. Verse 13, I can do all things through Christ which strengthen me. Verse 14, he said, notwithstanding, you have well done. You see, Paul is even appreciating him. We're talking about appreciation now. That you did communicate, communicate with my affliction. Mm. Paul was thanking them. Yes, sir. Which boils down to the, A uh, thanksgiving, yeah. Expected. Yes, sir. Then the was saying, you, you, you were there for me. Verse 15, now you Philippines, Know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving, but you only. Paul was acknowledging that strategic yes, thing sir. that they did in his life. Verse 16, for even in Thessalonica, you sent once, once and again, again unto, unto my, my necessity. necessity. Not because I desired a gift, mm. but I desire fruit that, that may, may abound, abound to account. your account. You know, I was telling them in the church today, I said, see, we are called to give life. What is ministry? Ministry is life giving. God gave us the, the yes, life sir. of his son. So we too, we should go and receive divine life from God and distribute it to people. It's not, what can we get from these people? When these people have life in them, nobody will tell them what to do. Yes, sir. Nobody will tell them what to do. On their own, you will see them. Then they will do these things. You know, so verse 18, but I have all and abound. I am full, having received of um, Epaphroditus, the things which you were, you were sent from, from you, an order of a sweet, of a sweet smell, smell, a sacrifice smell. acceptable, Sorry. well pleasing unto God. But my, but my God, God shall will supply. supply all your need according to his riches in, in glory by, by Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. You understand? So, so, so you, you see it there, and then you read down to, you know, 23, you know, and now God, unto God and our Father be glory forever and ever, amen. Salute every saint in Christ Jesus. The brethren which are with me, greet them. All the saints salute you, chiefly they that are of Caesar's household. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. You, you, it explains it all. You don't monetize the gospel. Amen. All this one. There is a man that I respect so much, Nathaniel Bassi. You know, maybe because of how big he has blown. He needs a manager. You need all those things to be able to put structures around him. You understand? But if you, I, 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 I used to have his number because I flew from Lagos to you with him. We sat together. He gave me his personal number, but I lost that phone. You know, if you have direct contact with Nathaniel Bassi, you understand? And you reach out to him. Nathaniel Bassi does not charge anybody money. Except you go through the manager, manager will be doing all those things. Oh, really? But you see, yeah, no, manager Bansi does not charge money. Wow. He's the, that man is the minister of the gospel. Wow. He's a child of God. If you meet him, you see the presence, you see God, you see humility. He does not charge money. If you can have access to him, Nathaniel Bansi will go there. But you see, like you said about appreciation, if a man of God has come and pour himself out, you should be able to appreciate him. Yes, sir. But that I'm not appreciated does not mean that I should go and change yes, of course. the order of God. It is not. So, sir, that 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 is just it. That is just it. God bless um, you, sir. Honestly, I don't know if we still have how many of your type in ministry we still have these days. Um, because um Anytime, each time I have conversation, I indulge in conversation, scriptural, um, spiritual conversation with you. Um, you seem to be throwing me aback um, to really, really still have, gives me really hope in these kingdom activities. Mm -hmm. Because um, there are, are remnants, sir. We, there are remnants. We are, we are in an environment, a very spiritually toxic mm. environment that the norm now has become toxicity. Mm. Toxicity Money. has become the mm. norm. That 
you mm. you really really found if you really you really you really find or experience really genuinely sincere sound doctrines mm. that is that is Doctrine. devoid that that is devoid of selfishness self seeking um um projections so what just like you say people mm. want to and and then that and then directly be telling you to give mm. me give me give me their message just uh, give to ask you indirectly uh, even though they are not saying bring but their message says it that mm -hmm. they are expecting you to do something that's right you see so that, honestly that is what is agog the entire spirit uh, the uh, uh, entire christendom 95% yes it is difficult for for us for someone to hear a minister of god a a pulpit minister who his life his livelihood who who who's livelihood is dependent on the pulpit and this pulpit not even put pulpit that is directly under his mandate mm. that mm. depends on mm. unknown pulpits mm. pulpits as they come as God brings it to him okay mm. it's time for you to go to this place now today mm. is this side so you are mm -hmm. just really, really, this is what we call the Abri Apostle, just like Apostle Paul, an apostle. Sorry, sir. You see, we, we go, we, we, God takes us to some places where after you minister and they give you an envelope and you look at it and then you tell them, please, I want to support this work. You give them back the envelope. Hmm. Amen. Wow. I went to Owele, sir. But I told myself I will not do that kind of journey again. You know why? They gave me fifteen thousand dollars for transports hmm. to enter road. November last year, I went, and I had two days program in Ogu State Vigil. I left three a.m. I did not even sleep, and I entered the road that November on my way to Owere. I arrived Owere nine p.m. They picked me from the bus stop straight to the church. My body was shaking like mm, this. Wow. I was able to minister that Friday night. Mm. Saturday, I got home. I could not sleep because my system was tense. They brought food. Food was there. I was looking at the food like this. I could not. I was just lying down. All I was just praying, Lord, please keep me. They say people mm. used to die, wow. you know, because of stress and everything. Yes. Lord, please just keep me. I am here on your assignment. If I don't come now, you look as if because they don't get money mm. or something. Lord, just keep me. I came here for you. And God sustained me. I Around 2 a.m., I was able to eat something. That was when I went to shower. I slept. The next day, the meeting was in the evening. I ministered that evening. The next day, and I saw that these people don't even have transport for me to go back to Lagos. Mm. And God just made a way. One of the sons there just said he's paying for my transportation. I didn't even have myself. You understand? I wouldn't have even, you know, disturbed myself and paid. They didn't give me 10 combo. And I cannot even think, me and the man, we are still relating. If you go and sending me there again, I will go. Go, amen. Not because of my past experience. That's they don't it. have. So will I go and won't we do the work of God because somebody does not have mm. the grace he has given to me. If they need the grace, why won't I go and release the grace there that God has given to me? He said, freely we receive and freely. You understand? L last week I was in Lekki. You understand? The woman, the, the woman of God brought me last week in Lekki, you know. And uh, as I went there and, you know, I was such a blessing to her. You understand? When I was going, she said, man of God, I'll reach out to you. Later in the day, the next day, I saw 35,000 Naira. Ooh, that was big. And I appreciated her. Thank her. Bless her. You know, I was shocked on, on Friday, this Friday, 
that we went for our apostolic prayers and everything. The next thing I saw another 50,000 Naira. Mm -hmm. I saw her name. I said, no, it wouldn't have been her. <laughs> she cannot <laughs> give me money twice. I had to call her. I said, Mama, are you the one that sent this one? She said, yes, Apostle, you know you are much more than this. Apostle, please. Just, I said, ah, Mama, you are stretching on me. The Lord will honor you. That is, that is, it's God that blesses. It's God that touches the heart of people. All those manipulations. And do you know why it's like that with me? So, me, I'm not looking for any big house. Yeah, I'm not looking for any yeah. big house. Just need contentment. I'm just here. I'm able to pay my children. My children are happy. I pay their, you know, like now the, the three of them are writing jam. I'm able to pay for their jam. As God gives them admission, we are able to push them through. You understand? Yes, what else? What else? Sir? And make heaven proud and be happy. The day it didn't sit fit, he said, you need a house. It will give me the day he say a car, he will give me those things. Are, so people manipulate. I come to your church on Okada. That does not reduce my content. Yes, you sir. come with one mighty jeep. When the, the two of us climb pulpit, finish. We will see the one that heaven will stand attention to. Yes, sir. Yes, that, 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 is, is that is that is it is well, sir. God, it is well. It is well. Amen. It is well. Thank God will help. Amen. There Amen. are still remnants. Yeah, uh, yeah. Still, yeah, still yeah. Well, but that, you, you don't, you don't have to even say that anymore. You are the uh, epitome. Yeah. You are the personification of the remnant. Mm -hmm. So that is just that is the remnant because the truth is, um, mm -hmm. I for over the years recently, I just, I just felt like I said, I have met so many men of God. I have so many of them that are my friends. Mm -hmm. Um, a sort of, mm -hmm. and I decided to just uh, withdraw from them because. I don't say no, 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 no. This is just not it. Sort of. So, you are you you really stand out. Um, you really stand out. Lord you are just Lord. um, uh, because I I this is for so many years, for so many years. Mm. This is the first time. For, after so many years, I'm really coming in contact with a man of God who is actually preaching the real. I call it the real world because. The real world mm. is not sweet to us. The real mm. world is not the it's not enticing. Just like Apostle Paul said, not you mm. should you should you should you should you should be careful. Ca you should God. yeah you should be ca careful with uh, men of God that uses the enticing word of God. A uh, sort of so this is not your the, 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 it is it is not enticing when something is against you. The preacher, uh, the carrier mm. of such message when what you are preaching. It's against you. It's mm. actually mm. against your interests. That is the mm. real undiluted word, mm. raw Lord word of God. Lord. It's sort of so. Um, it's we just. Uh, I thank God for your ministry. I thank God for you. I thank you because it takes courage. Keep for us, so. It takes. Keep it takes. For us, yes, us, of course. It takes courage. It takes courage to to actually stand in this position. It takes courage actually mm. to be where you are, to be who you are. Um, it takes courage mm. um, to resist the influence of uh, the or the influence of 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 the of the trend, because the influence mm. of the, the the trend can be very very strong. The influence of the trend very, very, can very be strong. very strong, very powerful. So it takes courage, mm. very strong courage. Mm. Um, like growing up, I well, I I was I've always told people, look. I said, look, I have mingled with a whole lot of people growing up, but um, uh, all my life, I never indulged in all those lifestyles. Yeah. I yeah. never drank, it's, it's... I never smoked, I never did all those nonsense here and there, whatever. Um, why? Because God blessed me with that grace of having that strong, strong courage to resist. Strong will. Yes, strong mm. will. Strong will and courage to resist, courage. to resist that trend, that evil trend or mm, influence, mm, environmental mm, influence. I'm that kind yeah. of a person. I'm that kind of a person that can just go actually in the midst of, I can dwell in the midst of drug barons and addicts <laughs> and and still come out, not even testing mm. that, not even doing it. Mm. So that's the kind of grace mm. I have or whatever. So, and that is mm -hmm. what I can, that is what I see that God is actually, has really established you even stronger. Amen. Because your Amen. ministry, look, 
Um, it is it is easier said. People like us can easily say you have to do this, you mm. have to say the truth, you have to do this, that whatever. I can easily say because probably I'm doing something that is giving me some little little change that can survive on some little change. So, mm. but mm. when someone like you, who is in the war front, spiritual war front, who is actually in the system. Someone mm. like you can actually come out and preach something that is detrimental to your well, your welfare. That is it. That is it. I preach um, it today too. Yeah. So that is the point. I told the man of God today. I said I don't go to anywhere because of money. I come to impact. <laughs> Honestly, I give God the glory and. Um, so God, God, will, God, God will continue. Amen. Amen. So far, God that have brought you Amen. thus far, all Amen. these years you yeah. have been and uh, you've not you've not soiled your hand, you've not infiltrated or adulterated mm -hmm. your spirit or your doctrine um, or the doctrine of God. It, it's over. God will keep you and get, make you even stronger. Amen. Because the truth is, um, Amen. 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 you still have, you still Amen. have uh, even high, hotter battles ahead of you. You see how hotter battles, um, mm. it will still come. Mm. And so um, mm. God will give you that grace to actually, God that gave you the Amen. grace, that will give you the grace to, to, um, to push aside as you move. You push this mm. out, push this aside, push still going. Mm. The same God will give you the same strength, the same mm. courage to even go Amen. get through Amen. the hot, the hotter one that is coming because... Amen. um. Um, you will Amen. definitely, Amen. you will definitely, you will see it coming or whatever. So, um, Amen. I honestly I appreciate God for your ministry, and um, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's it encourages you, me too. It's a, it's a, it's very very encouraging to someone like me, honestly. Um, Amen. I appreciate this. Glory, sir. So thank you so very much, man of God. Thank you for honoring our visit again. You're thank welcome, you sir. for this um inspiring well. and um, thought provoking encouraging message and testimony from you mm. i i'm really touched and i mm. i pray okay. this this um this episode of jibrin angle um gets to the right the right people the right ears and right eyes Amen. right whatever Amen. because Amen. um people Amen. need to Amen. people need to be encouraged Amen. to do to do Amen. the right thing and to, we have That's to really right. have that belief that it is god that blesses and uh, we should depend right. on him. That's he would right. he will do it in his own way, in his own time. Sure, um, sure, sure. All right, viewers. Thank you so very much, everyone. Thank you for being with us up to this moment of this up to this time of the of the of the show. Um, it's been a long a long uh, conversation with our dear um, man of God, Apostle Indifreke Imo, um, who is. Um, mm -hmm. who is a, a, a family man with grown-up children, um, very busy in his ministry, yet still um, great time for us to um, have this conversation. I appreciate you, man of God. Thank you so very much. And uh, may God Thank continue you, to bless your ministry. So please, can, Amen. You, Amen. can you please round Amen. up with a word of uh, exhortation okay. and prayer? Yeah, yeah. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for thank your you, word Jesus. that you have brought alive in our heart. Um, we pray that this very word will find expression in everything that we do in the name of Jesus. Amen. As thanksgiving is concerned in the name of Jesus. Amen. May we not play down the, the place of thanksgiving. Amen. May we not take it simply because Amen. we have received freely. Does yes, not mean Lord. that we should not reciprocate mm. by thanking. May yes, the Lord. devil not steal our blessing like the nine lepers that did not come to give thanks. Amen. Lord, help us to be like that one person that will come back and say, We appreciate you. Amen. Even to one another. Lord, as we reach out to one another, help us, oh God, to be appreciated in the name of Jesus. Amen. Christ. This word will build up to become refreshing in our lives in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. And we pray. This very month of February is a Libya. I pray, oh God, that will cause some things that have been hanging in the lives of men mm. to become their reality. Amen. The Bible says in the book of chapter 3 and verse 27, it says, withhold not good unto him that is due. Mm. Every yes, sir. due blessing 
God will release them Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatsoever is holding those blessings, mm. every prince of Persia that has hijacked blessing will rebuke you. We release the blessing. Amen. The due blessing. Amen. Um. Wow. This uh, the network has frozen. The screen has frozen. Okay. Um. Viewers, thank you so much. Uh, sorry for this. Um. Anyway. Um. We thank God at least the show has uh, ended. And um, I think at this point, we have to call it um, a day in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, and uh, God bless you. Join us once again on Jibrin Angle um, when we shall be bringing you another another insight, uh, exciting and insightful, um, interesting topic. God bless you. Bye.